the life of the French writer, author of adventure and anticipation novels, Jules Verne. Jules was born in Nantes. In 1828, he grew up near the commercial harbor. He is the eldest of a family of five children and falls madly in love with his cousin Caroline. He wants to embark on a boat leaving for the Indies to bring her back a coral necklace and his father will catch him at the last moment. He is then sent to Paris for his studies so Caroline can marry another man. Back in Nantes, he fell in love again with Hermine, whose parents saw in Jules only a young student with no future. He will keep a terrible resentment towards Nantes and the, the team of young girls married against their will will be a recurring subject in his books. He is passionate about Victor Hugo and narrowly escapes conscription draw. He will keep hate against military, another recurring subject in his novels. His father pushes him to become a lawyer, but he secretly dreams of becoming a writer. Badly housed in his maid's room, he suffers from the cold and will suffer from his first facial paralysis. Paris, he met Alexandre Dumas, the son, who opened for him the doors of the literary world. His first writings, a place for the theater, I will meet his future wife Honorine with two brats. Dreaming of being a recognized writer, he worked hard and earns a living by stock market trading, then takes charge of his life as a man and marries Honorine. After this wedding, he's got his first travel opportunity in Scotland. He will make a travel story. His friend, the photographer Nadar, is passionate about aerostatic balloons. Jules got inspiration about it. His story that happened in the air in Africa. Pierre Jules Hetzel from the Hetzel Editions will give him his first chance for five weeks in a balloon. We write on to make it science accessible. The book is a real success. Begins a great collection of children's literature which appear in the Magasin d'Education et de Récréation that will later be known as science fiction. The next novel appears in 64 and talks about a journey to the center of the earth with giant mushrooms and prehistoric monsters. 65, he moves to Le Crotois in the Villa La Solitude in Seafront in northern of France. He builds a boat called the Saint Michel and finally becomes a ship's captain. Moreover, Georges Sand, a big fan of his novels, will ask him for an adventure story with a submarine. His future novel, Germinate Aboard His Sea Travels, I will give birth to Captain Nemo, the Nautilus, and the Great Sea Monsters. In 71, he was inspired by the Leviathan boat Great Eastern for his novel A Floating City. In 65, he tackles the theme of space conquest and Return to Earth a century before the Apollo missions. In 72, he describes the phlegmatic Mr. Fogg of the Reform Club and his foolish bet to circumnavigate the world in less than 80 days. In 75, the mysterious island will appear. Followed in 76 by The Crossing of Russia by Michel Strogoff. Between 63 and 1905, Jules Verne will devote himself to offering extraordinary trips for young people. He is a law graduate without scientific studies. But Jules knew how to surround himself with people who could explain everything to him. He always hoped to access the French Academy, but was refused 37 times. Besides, his nephew will shoot him in the foot, and Jules will always limp. It is said that it was to draw attention to Jules Verne and get him to join the Academy, but in vain. He will move to Amiens, the birthplace of his wife. He will write until 1905, date of his death, and will be buried in Amiens under a monumental drumstone stair. Jules Verne, through his relentless work in popularizing science, was able to invent a new avant-garde style, the anticipation novel, which will later be known as science fiction. Populated by flying machines, submarines, rockets, and other futuristic machines. He became one of the most translated French authors in the world, 
a nice snub to the French Academy, which refused him so many times. He conquered the hearts and developed the imagination of many readers with his novels. <laughs> 